the dexterous power of God, who is just as strong with the poor as he is with the rich. Just as able to do something with somebody who is about to be destroyed by poverty as he is to come into the home of the rich. He visits the poor woman the same way he visits the rich woman. He is not the kind of God that would not come to the poor woman and only comes to the rich woman. He's not the kind of God that will come to the rich woman and not come to the poor woman. It is not about class. It is not about status. He will appear to the intellectual the same way he appears to the illiterate. He will come to you on whatever level you're on. He knows how to speak your language. If God can speak to frogs in Exodus and flies in Exodus and locusts in Exodus, if God can speak to insects, he can speak to you. I don't care who you are and what you have, God speaks your language. He can come on your level and on your platform away with all the other people who overlook you as insignificant. God will always use those that others thought were insignificant to make them significant. He will use the stone that the builders rejected. He will use the very son that Jesse doesn't want to bring out of the field. He will take the shepherd boy and turn him into a king. God doesn't always move amongst the mighty. He moves also amongst the minuscule, the mediocre, the overlooked, the disenfranchised. Some of you are testimony to the fact that it wasn't so long ago you didn't have anything at all, but God made a way out of no way and raised you up. Don't you get successful and forget where you came from. Don't get successful and turn up your nose. Don't get so successful that you forget that had it not been for the Lord that was on your side, you wouldn't be where you are right now. It was God. It is God that gives you the power to get well. I'm going to say it again. It is God that gives you the power to get well. I appreciate education. I appreciate it. It's important. It will prepare you. It's essential. It's a great thing to have. But I know too many educated poor folk to believe that education brings money. It is God that gives you the power to get well. I appreciate talent. I know many, many people that are talented. I have a prison ministry. We work with people who've been incarcerated. I know jail so it is not talent that gives you wealth it is what it is God that gives us wealth say it again it is God that gives us wealth the Bible said he makes one high and he makes one low he brings one down and he brings up another to those of you that you, that God is bringing up if God brings you up can't nobody take you down I said if God brings you up can't nobody take you down and if God takes you down, can't nobody bring you up. To God be the glory for the things he has done.